Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about disorder of operations 2 divided by 2 raised to the 4th power. And what is your answer? In this kind of question, many won't get it right. Now let us discuss so that you can get the correct answer. So let's have this given expression 2 divided by 2 raised to the 4th power. If your answer is 1, you're doing it wrong because you might think that your 2 divided by 2 raised to the 4th power is that this 1 is equal to 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 and then you will copy 1 raised to the 4th power and you must answer 1. But this time guys, this 1 or this answer is very wrong because in this kind of operation, or this series of operations, we're still following the rule of PEMDAS. Now let me give you a short review about PEMDAS. When I say PEMDAS, the letter P stands for the parentheses or the grouping symbols. First, you have this parentheses, this one, and also this one. These are the possible grouping symbols that you might encounter in doing order of operations. Next, we have letter E for the exponents. So you might experience or encounter like this one, 10 raised to 2. You will do this exponent before the parentheses. And we have the four fundamental operations, M, D, A, S. Here, guys, let me remind you, your M is multiplication, your D is division. And a lot of people are confused which comes first. Is it the multiplication or the division? There's a rule. Whichever comes first from left to right, you will perform. It's either multiplication or division. If the position is like this one, you will go with multiplication first. But if you will encounter like divide, then multiply you will do the division first. Same with addition and subtraction. When you encounter plus, minus, you will go first with addition. But when you have your subtraction and addition, you will go with the subtraction first. That is the left to right rule for the PEMDAS. Now let's go back to the topic. We have here 2 divided by 2 is equal to 4. And again, the answer is not 1. So how do we simplify this kind of operation? First, let us take this problem in a different manner. So we will try to convert this like this one. This 2 will become a numerator, while this division symbol will be this bar sign. And this one will become your denominator. So what will happen? is that we can expand this as 2 over, you have 2 raised to the 4th power. If you have this base of 2, you will copy that. And then take note of your exponent. The exponent is 4. Meaning, we will express your base in this form. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Because... This 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 are 4 factors of 2. When we simplify that, that is equal to 2 raised to the 4th power. And you might think that, sir, is that is the answer like this one? Can we solve that like 2 over 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16? Yes, we can do that. And we can simplify it as... 1 over 8. So you might be confused because here, 2 over 16, I simplify this fraction in 1 over 8. But how come can I do that? I just divided the numerator by 2 and 16 by 2 because that is their greatest common factor. But there's an easy way. We can do cross cancellation or we can cancel out the numerator and denominator. So here, as you can see, we have here 
And you made it turf 2. We can cancel this one. With another 2 in your denominator. We can also cancel this one. What will happen, when you cancel this 2, we have 1. And here, we also have 1. And as you can see, your new numerator is 1. While your denominator is 1 times 2, times 2, times 2, and that is it. And this is the final answer, guys. So, I hope, guys, you learned something from this video on how to simplify this kind of operation. Again, we are still doing the rule of PEMDAS. So, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!